What's up, Sports Talk Detroit? Hey, the Pistons season is officially over. The tank has been successful. We finished third. In this video, I tell you what exactly that means. We break down our chances, and we even take a look at the draft board ahead to give you an idea of who will be available depending on where we pick. So the first thing I want to do is I want to talk and give you a quick little lesson in the NBA draft lottery. And to do this, I think the best way is to share my screen there's a good article that I was reading, and they broke it down. It's a percentage chance. If you are in the top three, you have the best chance at landing the first pick. Every team has exactly like a 14.2% chance or something like that at landing number one, 14.8. I'm not sure. But we have a 40% chance, as you can see here by the highlighted portion, of landing a top three pick. We have a 52.1% chance at picking inside the top four. So we have a better than 50-50 shot of being in the top four. And I think top four is where you really want to be. I'll explain that in a little bit. And there are odds at picking five through seven. It's 14.8% at five. 26% at six. So that's a little scary. Like the, the highest chance uh, of percentage chance of getting a pick is pick number six. And then a 7% chance at seven. We cannot go beyond pick seven. That's the worst it could get. So what does that mean for the Detroit Pistons? Let's go ahead and look at this mock draft simulator. And I'm going to sim the lottery for us right now. And this lottery understands the same percentage. It understands the same statistics that I just read to you. So that's what it does. And it automatically assigns a draft pick. We'll see what that looks like. Um, but we're going to go ahead and sim this lottery. It's real quick. They run through it. And we ended with the fifth pick. Now, I don't hate this pick, assuming that Keegan Murray is still there. I think I've gotten to the point and we have a long ways to go. So I'm going to be completely honest. I haven't done a deep dive on all these guys. It's just based on what I've watched during the college basketball season. I haven't done a deep dive on any of them, but Keegan Murray is very, very intriguing to me. Now he's older. He's uh, two to three, one to two to three years older than the other players. So I think my big board right now would look Jabari Smith, Paolo Banchero, Jaden Ivey, Keegan Murray. So if we could get Keegan Murray with that fifth pick, I would be happy with that. And I know what you're thinking. Where's Chet? Where is Chet? I'm not there. And I need to do more time looking at that, but I'm not there with him. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to show you why I like Keegan Murray so much at number five in this mock. Um, I like Keegan Murray because as you look at his averages, he is an all around scorer. He shoots over 55% from the field, he scores at a ridiculous clip. Um, he really, really does. His per 36 is 26 points per game. He scores 23.5 in a game anyways. He's shooting almost 40% from three, and a lot of that came in the back half of the season. Um, almost nine rebounds, almost two blocks, over a steal. Like He is extremely well-rounded, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, well, yeah, like he's older. Like of course, he's more well-rounded, but also he's older. Like, he doesn't have as high of a, a ceiling to develop on. Hey, I'm telling you right now, people progress at different ages. But that's not what this is. This isn't a, a Keegan Murray uh, video. What this is a video of is talking about the draft lottery. So the Pistons have ended their season, um, and I don't know how much more specific I can get on the lottery. I just want you to understand that we're basically going in with a 50-50 shot in the lottery, a 50% chance that we're a top four and a 50 of well, a 52%, about a 48% chance that we land in that uh, five to seven range. At least that's kind of the, the, the way I'm reading it. I don't know if the numbers add up uh, particularly well, but they do, they do add up. So that's the way I'm reading it. That's the way I see it. Um, here's my question. What is that number where we're just like, oh no, like you need to be in the top what to be happy. Cause I know some people like other players. I mean, we have our Benedict Matherin fans. We have different people um, that like different players for me right now, early time. I want to be in that top five. I want to be in that top five. And we have about a, if I'm decent at math, close to 70% chance to get in there, about 67, 66% chance to get into that top five. If we're there, I'm happy. I'm happy with any of the players that are left. Chet is the one that I'm not sure. I do like the idea of picking up a solid 
power forward, or at least a guy who can play the four position. A stretch four would be perfect in my mind. So if you think Chet can play that stretch four, I'm all for it. If you think he's the next Dirk Nowitzki, I'm all for it. Um, I would. So that's where my board kind of falls. Power forward, power forward, power forward. And then with that final one, I love Ivy's game. I think it is a ton of fun to watch. But with the late development of Killian Hayes and uh, just looking at our roster, I think it would be better suited for a championship heavy playoff push if you have a guy like Cade Cunningham in the backcourt followed by a pure scoring uh, forward as well and, and a guy that could play in that position. So let me know what your thoughts are on this upcoming draft. It is exciting the the thoughts of it. I think the lottery is happening somewhere late May and then late June, you have the draft. So we have plenty of time to talk about. We have over a month before the lottery is picked. And then we have even more time until we have the NBA draft uh, two and a half months away here at the time of putting out this video. So let me know what you think. Are you happy with the Pistons seasons? What we are going to be doing next uh, for our videos is we're going to be doing a season in review video as a whole. And then also just looking at each individual player and what their fit will be with the Detroit Pistons going forward. Make sure you keep an eye out for that. Uh, really excited to do it. I, I did the player preview videos going into the season. So if you're really being a nerd and wanting to nerd out and figure out how on or off my predictions were for each player, I'm a little scared. You can go back and watch those. Feel free. The player preview ones but we're also going to be looking at at least five to 10 of the players and a player review. And what does the future look like for them with the Detroit Pistons? Remember we have, uh, we have 30 million in cap room. So how much of that is going to be spent bringing back a couple of our own? How many much is that is going to be spent going out and how will that affect uh, the possibility of bringing players back in the future. But there you have it. Those are our, those are our chances. We successfully landed in the, the bottom three of the league, which is exactly where you want to be to guarantee yourself the best chance at the number one pick or a high pick. So I'm excited about it. Best is one, worst is seven. See you on the next one. Go Pistons.